is low in vitamin A. And unfortunately, maize, soya bean, Ghana are high in vitamin A. So addition of maize, soya bean, Ghana, though you are getting a nutrient food that is high in protein in terms of quality and quantity, and energy. Unintentionally, you have a food that is high in phytate, an anti-nutrient like that limit absorption of iron, calcium, and zinc. So based on this, and of course the other limitation of when it makes it, sea legume flour forms a very thick response for it. So to reduce the viscosity of the porridge, the consistency that will be taken by your baby, you need to dilute it with water. And the dilution of water leads to dilution of nutrients. Professor Fuaka and colleagues in the department, they've done some work on adding a minus rich flour to reduce the viscosity of the water. If carefully controlled, that's the way to go. But let's also think Consider the matter, you really need to prepare the amylase rate flour before you add it to the porridge. So, in this time of, of it, when we need everything, we then go. What other possible way can we go about it? So, one, the issues I was considering was what can I do to have a complementary food that is readily available to be high in vitamin A? Two, the complementary food should be low in fighting. Three, the complementary food should not form a very thick viscous porridge, which will require excessive dilution with water. That was a big thing to do. So, true literature, I realized that when I was going to New Zealand for my PhD study, the focus was using sweet food as a dormant food as a source of vitamin A. I didn't know about fighting. But reading literature, remains fighting. <coughs> sweet is also low in fighting. And I thought about it. If that is going to be the case, then I can formulate a complementary that will at least answer two of my questions. That will be high in vitamin A as a source of beta carotene. And two will be low in fighting, the anti nutrient that we need. Because five sweet potato has been reported by the only author is low in five then The issue now is I think at the end of the day we really need to do a study on the age of harvesting of the sweet potato to know the its effect on the fighting content. But I'm saying the good thing. And the factor that was pushing me was the studies going on in Ghana promoting sweet potato in Ghana the source of vitamin A. So I thought, ah, okay, then I'm in the right way, then we can see. So the first publication we came out with was a review on the two types of the feeding practices in Ghana. And as I've said earlier, complementary food, the red eyes was published in the literature available. Was mainly made based on the soya gradient. The others that uh, were following the same combination, but depending on the funding agency, the composition will change. But typically, it's made soya slash cow feed. At the end of that publication, we propose that sweet potato can be used in formulation of complementary food for infants in Africa. Hence, we came up with the name. So four, three formulations of complementary food were produced. They are already published. One was using industrial level method, which was either extrusion cooking or rolling and dry. And I wasn't very particular with the extrusion cooking, but I was thinking about if I come home, I get an extruder to do this. 
So I pushed in another household level complimentary food, which can be done by mothers at the household level. And we named it uh, Open Toasted Comfort. I uh, present data on the By generally the sweet potato based complimentary food, we are lower in fighting. That was a good news. So the formulation can enhance iron absorption. And it's higher in vitamin A. So it could be a source of vitamin A. And this is not added. This is what you get in the group. We proceeded further to study to estimate the ion of the using the fighting to the molar ratio and the levels of beta carotene as a possible source of enhancer of ion absorption. And beta carotene is possible because there have not been any clinical trial investigating different levels on ion absorption. There are only two field trials that they based in the lab, I think about 10 equals to 50. It's not very convincing. But all they came up with was that beta carotene also can provide the negative effect of phytate on iron and micronutrient absorption. So using the fighting to bring out molar ratios and the high levels of beta carotene, we propose that when we treat the ghetto based on every food, we will be less in the nutrient of mineral absorption than breathing. This is the finding that made me jump in the I never knew I was going to get something like that. So the responsive measurement was done using RBA, rapid response And if you can see all the sweet potato based on the food were very low viscosity, as low viscosity compared to the energy. For either the pig viscosity or the common. The viscosity that would be at seven around forty degrees or when you leave the viscosity and to cool to room temperature of about 25. From the nutritional point of view, all you can do is when you are preparing the porridge, there's a tendency that you can add more flour to the sweet potato based complementary food to increase the viscosity. And in so doing, all you'll be doing is you are adding more nutrients. But for the winning end, what you have to do is you rather have to dilute with water to get the consistency. That will be suitable for your baby. And in so doing, you are diluting the nutrient. And the sensory evaluation was conducted. This data is almost to be published. We've done the first round and the information to us, maybe by mid next year. The sweet potato were generally were at higher, they were more palatable compared to green milk. Of course, sweet potato is naturally sweet, so I think that influenced the sensory information. And in the formulations, what happened was they complained that we added the same amount of sugar to hold the green milk and the comfort food. And this is my quality control because I'm enjoying one of the And the question is, the cream fresh variety I use is not very high in bitter carotene. 
So if I'm going to use it as a source of bitter carotene, then let me go in for a variety that will be high in bitter carotene. Two, the method of extracting flour from sweet potato before processing the product is time consuming. And the mother has to do the drying and milling. So if there's another way, it's better we go for it. And that led to my step two. So in study two, we have the cream fresh sweet potato and the orange fresh sweet potato for comparison's sake. And we have winning mates. And we're fortunate to be given complementary food, a cereal containing anchovy. It's done in Malaysia. Yeah, Malaysia. So this sent it there. Sample. And both the winning mates and the comfort formulations were cooked, 2 kg were processed by that, cooked for 2 hours and freeze dry for analysis. So the processing method, we can, I, will, I gave a radio it's interview not to, shift, but you know, to describe is everything. It's pleased with a new recipe he has developed. One that has the potential to stop thousands of children in Africa from becoming malnourished. A new food for babies. Ruth Barron meets Francis Amaglou at Massey University in Palmerston North. Francis Amaglou is here from Ghana, um, studying for his PhD at Massey, and his previous experience was working for the World Health Organization.